are these people? Sure, I could understand that totally. Yeah, Kermo, Kermo, you, you, I'm sure you got a lot to say. Yeah, please, please. Yeah, sure. yeah as, and as far as far as with the with the financial situation um, in the union, right? Um, I'm, I, I wasn't as um, as privy to um, what was going on as far as financially, but I, I seen some stuff where you could like, you know, you could really just put it together and just be like, oh, um, you know, you, you just put two and two together and just be like, that don't look right. That looked like. You know that's not union stuff. That's that don't look like it, it's it's meant to promote that the organization. So, um, but but as far as like who who are the donors for the union, um, is 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 basically U.S. political um political is the U.S. political system. So it's pay to play. So Chris Chris is there's a reason why we we don't got a contract yet. So. Is behind the scenes. I don't know what's happening behind behind the scenes, but just from my knowledge of um the U.S. political system, it's pay to play. So um, Chris is most likely um, Christians most likely doing something behind the scenes to to bring in these donors, to bring in these people. There's so some there's some shady deal going on behind the scene. There's no doubt about that because we we we've been around for um how many years now? How, I, when 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 did when did Christian do his walk out? It was um. What March of 2022? I mean 2020, and it's already 2024. There is yet a contract. There is yet anything like that. Um, right now he's talking about stepping down. So you already know it's just been a disaster. You know, then with with with, with how they're receiving money, how they're maintaining themselves, it only goes to show like what what is the union purpose there? You know, as as Michelle said in one like the the mass membership meeting, right? She had like a poster that said like Chris is a union buster. And it, it goes to show because um, there's there's no there's no progression like even right now right there, mm -hmm. there was art, this article that came out where um where where Amazon is talking about they they gonna take the NLRB or somebody to court where they're gonna deem the NLRB to be unconstitutional that yes. is, that's gonna be the whole um, argument in court so they, they are they're making an arguments and that there's a union and and Amazon who has a union already is is arguing that the NLRB is unconstitutional and the union has yet to like rebuttal any of this. Was so that Elon like, Musk? Huh? No, was Elon Musk. Sorry. I believe it was no, Trader no, 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 no. Jones. Oh, yeah, Trader Jones. Okay. No, no. Okay. And, and, and Amazon joined the coalition with Trader Joe's Starbucks to say the NLRB is unconstitutional. So so basically getting rid of the NLRB through the Supreme Court, through the US um, court system. So they, they, it's just a whole bunch of stuff. How Chris and them is, is not fighting against this. How we have lawyers, you know, the union have lawyers who can who who can like fight against these things. But I doubt if the lawyers are really going to fight against that, or I doubt if there's any is, is there any going to be um any public statement by um the union leadership as far as like oh the NLRB staying. I mean, um, Amazon is staying that the NLRB is unconstitutional. Just goes to show how much they really care about their workers. Because the NRB is designed to protect workers, so right. it's like, why would you say something that's designed to protect workers is unconstitutional? You're only against workers. You're only against the people. These these are easy arguments, but it's not being made. So it, it goes. It just it shows you where um, where the mindset is, and also in, in U.S. politics is 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 um I've like got the Latin word um pro quote play or something like that, mm -hmm. but it's pay to play. It is it, 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 it's, it's a play to play system where mm -hmm. um. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, 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 where you basically follow certain policy, just like any other politician. You follow certain policy, and you get your your contribution, your don your your donations, your um, campaign donations, your um organize your organizing donations, or whatever donations you're looking for. You're gonna get it, but you gotta also implement certain policies. And with our union, you can see lack lack of confidence in the building with the leadership. That that goes to show you um. Who are, who are the donors and what are what are their agendas? You know, lack of confidence of leadership in the building, lack of organizing, um, lack of just almost anything to 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 say this is the union. Just lack of any of that, lack of any characteristic of a union. Um, there's no it's like like it's just just I don't know how to put it. I like I, I can't find a word to put it, but it's just the whole apparatus is not even correct. Like everything is not even correct. Then now now they're talking about. Have, having um e elections right 
to 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 replace the leadership with a leadership that's in cahoots with the current leadership. It's like, it's like right, so now we're, we're in a revolving door now. So now we're in a concept where it's a revolving door where wow. the current leadership is in cahoots with the yeah. with the with the supposal with with those um with the leadership that's supposed to be coming in right now. So yeah. they're in cahoots with each other, and they're all they're they're over there because these people. If if you go to the building, and you as an actual a worker, would you, would you negotiate with with um Christian Smalls? They're like no. No, they're like, oh hell no! I'm not going to negotiate one. They, nobody will. They, they don't even trust them. They they, they, they think that they're, they're liars, they're manipulators, they this and that. So why would why would I have confidence in the leadership that's in cahoots with that leadership? Well, have they been advocating for the workers in the building? Like when people get hurt, no, have no, they been have they been no. trying to help them with no, with no, Amazon, no, with no, HR, no. or any of that? Hey, please. So no, so so in, 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 in right now, let, let me let me give you an example, right? So you, you know how they got the 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 workers um the warehouse workers um, protection act right so that that act is designed to um to stop Amazon from firing people based on production rates right but Amazon has found like a like a little loophole or whatever they found right, right to like get around that whole act right where where um where nobody can do nothing about it well people could do something about it the union leadership as far as like um, Christian and them they they could do something about it. But they're not doing nothing about it. That's just the prime example, right? That people are still getting fired based on the production rates. When they're not supposed to in New York State, it's illegal to fire somebody based on the production rate. But it's still doing it. And what mm -hmm. what are Christian and them doing? Claudia Christian and, and Wilmina, no. they're doing nothing. They're doing nothing no. to resolve that problem. They they they're not mean like like for example, right? Uh, Christian, I'm sure he has networked with a lot of people, with a lot of lawmakers, with a lot of people who can who can make moves, who are on committees and stuff. In, in, in the state legislatures and stuff like that. He he can he can contact these people and, and probably do something to fix this problem. But he don't do that. Instead he's basically he's he's focused on traveling, building up it's almost like he wants to be like a company with, within himself. So he's building up his brand, he's doing this, he's mm -hmm. doing that, everything he's doing everything except for doing what he's supposed to really be doing. Then on on, on top of it, right, where I, I, I experienced this personally with him, personal. So so, like, as far as, like, we're spreading the unionization efforts, right? So, like, for example, right, we, we met this lady in D.C. called Helen, right? So, um, we, we were supposed to go down there within, like, two or three weeks of meeting her in D.C., right? It never happened. So, they, they, they went, I'm talking about, like, six months of, like, oh, telling this lady they're going to go down there, go back and forth. She, she's basically trying to organize her union, her warehouse, and all this and that, and she's getting targeted. Um, and Amazon is harassing her, um, ripping down her posters, all this and that. She she even filed a ULP with the NLRB, so everything is already stated in there. You know, after David, like how Amazon was ripping down her posters, she had to even call the police on them, and all this and that. Right? Chris and them they didn't capitalize off of that. They didn't do nothing on that. They basically just let the lady out there for for like like she was nothing. She like she didn't, she was no value to them, no nothing. They just abandoned her. Right? Then um, February they were supposed to go see her this month. They didn't even cancel that. They didn't even cancel it because they're too busy over there um, fighting amongst themselves. And also, they're, they're basically cannibalizing each other. So, right now, like, the workforce, as far as in the union hall, is low because they, they cannibalize each other. So, so that, that's how that's how I, I got removed from, from everything because it was just too toxic. I couldn't take it. And I had to go, you know. So And I was already out the door by, by the time um, they, they, they was thinking about letting me go. I was already out the door. I was already... I was already like um, trying to go to the Constitution to remove Chris, like press charges against him, and and basically say he's he's not doing a, a good job. He's an incompetent leader. So you got to got you step down. Step that is what it is. It, I, I don't know what to tell you, bro. But you got to go. So it, it's just a whole bunch of a whole bunch of stuff like like a lack of unionization, a, a, a lack of organization, a lack of a bold strong leadership, a lack of a coherent leadership. A, a lack of confidence in the leadership, a lack of um of direction, you know, guidance, and yeah, a lack of guidance because the lawyers who are supposed to be guiding us because we're we're still a brand new union, they're they're the one with the real experience. They're not even doing that. Instead, it looks like they're just um looking at it like they're getting paid like thirty thousand, and that that thirty thousand dollars a month, ironically, is the lawyers that getting paid not thirty thousand whatever thirty thousand dollars. Chris is getting paid thirty thousand dollars annually. Ironically, it's the lawyers that get paid thirty dollars, thirty thousand dollars a month. Now, Chris gets paid ninety thousand dollars a year. So there's there's an irony in that too. 
Because now, that $30,000 that you go to the Ninety thousand. Yeah, 90000 And Chris is getting paid 90000 so, so, <laughs>